Hey guys, so today the topic obviously as you can see from the title is about psycho ex-girlfriends and yes that title may be a little bit extreme but I think we've all had instances with ex-girlfriends that maybe have gone a little crazy or maybe you have gone a little crazy on someone's new girlfriend and I just thought it'd be fun to kind of talk about this and see what your thoughts and opinions are so feel free to leave those in the comments below I'd love to hear so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in um, this topic actually came up today because I was talking to a friend of mine and she was talking about this guy that she likes and she was saying he's really fun he's really nice he's cute we get along it's awesome and I was like okay and she's like but he has this one big flaw and I was like what is it and she goes he has the most psycho ex-girlfriend and we didn't really get into too much detail on that but just hearing that phrase just brought up a ton of thoughts and ideas in my mind and I feel like I've dealt with a good amount of girlfriends ex-girlfriends of people um, that have gone a little crazy and maybe done some kind of weird stuff so I thought it would just be funny to kind of share those and share my thoughts on that and kind of what I think about it and maybe why they did that um, so first of all let me just give you the ground rules about myself so maybe you can understand how I would feel I'm definitely the type of person where if there's a conflict I like to avoid any problems or any um, escalating of the conflict I really like to not get in fights with people. I don't like to be super aggressive or super blunt. It just kind of makes me feel uncomfortable and I never really would be like, back off, he's mine, like blah blah blah. I just wouldn't act like that. It's not in my nature, I guess. But I've definitely had girls that have acted like that towards me. But so while I personally wouldn't take that extreme of a tactic, I definitely think it does work. Um, when girls have kind of yelled at me about talking to their ex-boyfriends and stuff, I definitely have wanted to back off and it just really kind of, in my mind, it was like, this isn't worth it. You know, this person obviously has some feelings that aren't fully, you know, recovered and they still obviously have a lot of emotion in this and I just don't want to get in involved in between that and that's pretty much been how I've acted. There have been some scenarios where I've liked a guy and I didn't know that he had just come out of a long-term relationship. He did not tell me um, and so when his ex-girlfriend of and all of her friends got very upset with me, very rude to me um, and just kind of hurtful out of you know it's not wasn't no reason because I understand you know they were she was upset that he you know was dating another girl and that makes complete sense but I guess the whole problem was I was pretty blindsided by it because he did not tell me and I think now I really make sure that I kind of know a little bit about um, someone's background and while I don't want to judge them on their past or make their past kind of hinder our future um, it's definitely good to at least know and at least know what they've been through um, with people before you and I think that can really save you a lot of heartache and a lot of troubles down the line if you know he just came out of this four-year relationship so you know when his girlfriend hears that he's talking to you she probably is gonna get a little bit upset and and like I said, that's a complete normal reaction and it's just good to kind of know that and be ready for that. Another thing I want to talk about is what you would do if you have an ex-boyfriend that you are still somewhat connected with or still somewhat talking to. I think if your ex has cut off all communication with you, has told you he does not want to be with you, doesn't want anything to do with you, then it does get a little psycho to freak out on any girl he tries to date. And I think that's going to show to the girl because your boyfriend is probably telling that girl that he doesn't want to be with you and that he wants to be with her so she's probably gonna think you're overreacting and he's also probably gonna think you're overreacting now if your ex is like leading you on and you're still connected to him I think it completely makes sense that your feelings would be hurt and that you'd be upset when he is also talking to another new girl and so if I was in that situation and if I had a boyfriend my ex-boyfriend, and I actually did do this one time um, with my past boyfriend, we were still kind of talking or whatever, and there was this girl that was just coming on to him, she would message him all the time on Facebook, um, she would text him, call him all the time, and we were still like kind of hanging out, and like, we weren't together, but we still kind of were with each other or whatever, and I was seeing this going on, and one day I finally just said to her, I was like, we have had a very long relationship and I'm really trying to work on things with him. Um, you know, we're trying to get back to a good place and I really, really want to be with him. You know, as a girl, I think you probably could understand that and see where I'm coming from. And her reaction was pretty much just like, I can do whatever I want, whatever, screw you. 
But, I mean, that's just how I am. I'm always going to try to appeal to the girl, and I think that in most circumstances that works, and it, kind of, it doesn't make you look like the crazy one. If anything, it just makes you look very caring, and like you are still very heartbroken over your relationship, which I think is completely normal to um, be upset, you know, when things end and when people move on. Another funny story I have is actually about a guy that I was talking to a little bit. Nothing really serious, but we have been talking for a little while. Again, I hadn't really asked about his past dating history or anything I just knew he wasn't seeing anyone since he was talking to me and you know wanting to go out and whatever and um, one night we were talking and then I got this picture on his phone and it was a girl and it was like a selfie of her that she took on his phone and he was like in the background of it she was like hey I'm his girlfriend like back off blah 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 and then he was like, he denied it, blah, blah, blah. It just got really messy. And now the girl and I are actually friends and, you know, it's no big deal. But I think the guy was more at fault in that point. I mean, I think the girl acted in kind of an interesting way. I probably wouldn't have done that. But I think, you know, if you think you're seeing someone and they're also talking to other people, then maybe you would react like that. I don't know. It was just funny for me. And being the type of person I am, I honestly was, like, a little bit, like, scared. I just, I don't know. I don't deal well with like girls being very very um I don't know it was harsh I guess in the way it was but honestly it wasn't that big of a deal looking back on it now and it brings me to my point of the biggest thing I think is whoever you're in a relationship with they should be responsible for cutting all ties with their exes and for not letting them get involved in your relationship and if they're not doing that then you probably don't want to be in a relationship with that person because they're probably not ready to be fully committed in a relationship with you. And why would you want to be with someone that also still has someone on the side that they're kind of talking to, kind of having something going on with? It's just unneeded drama and you really should um, stray away from those situations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have had any psycho ex-girlfriend stories or if you have been the psycho ex-girlfriend. No judgment, but I would love to hear and I'll see you guys later.